Okay, I think a lot of you are aware there's a recent controversy that Dr. Oz created by bringing up the issue of the arsenic concentrations in apple juice. And he has received a, un <laughs> a troubling amount of grief for having done so. And I, I, I'm here to, to, I hope, to kind of set the record straight, at least as I understand it, and to support him in, in just raising a question. That's all he's done. So here's what he did. He's, he measured the level of arsenic in apple juice. Now, we really don't know what safe levels of arsenic are. We really don't. But we maintain, the government, FDA, maintains standards of what they consider to be safe. Arsenic causes some vascular disease. It may add a slight risk of cancer. May. We don't know how much does that, but certainly if you use large amounts of arsenic, we kind of know it's bad for your blood, your blood vessels and it causes high blood pressure and it causes heart problems. We don't know if the, the little amount in apple juice would, but we maintain standards. And his question was, why the total amount of arsenic in apple juice is allowed to be so much greater than what's allowed in drinking water and pear juice. Just ask that question. He went to the FDA and said, shouldn't we do something about this? And they came in, they pushed back and said, well, you're, you're looking at total arsenic, which is organic and inorganic, and the organic type is cleared more quickly, so maybe more safe. Maybe. We don't really even know that. And he said, well, good point, but you have total arsenic requirements in water and pear, pear juice that is different than apple juice. Apple juice is something we're giving babies early in life. Shouldn't we take a look at this? And they will not answer. And then people in the media that frankly are maybe not as sharp as Dr. Oz, maybe don't know quite what they're talking about as clearly as he does, are attacking him for what they see to be um, uh, is sort of call, calling out fire in a crowded movie theater. I don't think so. This is scientific debate. He's raising a question. It just happens to be happening publicly, but di scientific debate happens every day in all spheres in this country, particularly in medicine. These kinds of things, these kinds of controversies come up, and we deal with them. It's how we move science forward. He just happened to have done so in an environment where the public caught wind of it. Nothing more.